Hey guys, it's Danny. We just wrapped up a Facebook Live and I am sharing with you guys my kids' absolute favorite go-to oatmeal breakfast. And I'm also sharing my tips on how to add a little extra nutritional value. So check it out and enjoy. We're on. And we're on and we're live. Hello my friends, Danny Spees, clean and delicious. I am here after a wonderful New Jersey snowstorm yesterday that threw us way off track. And I'm gonna be sharing with you our go-to morning oats. So this whole winter, my kids, basically every single morning, they want oatmeal, which is fine by me, but they want oatmeal with chocolate chips. So I'm gonna show you the oatmeal that I make for them and how I sneak in a little bit of extra nutritional value so it's not just like a, a bowl of chocolate. Um, so guys, as you sign in, please come down to the comments below, say hello, let me know who's watching and where you're watching from, from and we're going to get right into this. Now I have shared this before. I've done it on my Snapchat a few times and I've done it on Instagram. And so a few of you have asked me to turn it into a video. So that's why I'm doing that today. So usually what I do is I do make my oats in the microwave on most busy, um, weekday mornings. If you don't want to use the microwave, no big deal, you can do this on the stove top, just takes a couple extra minutes, not a big deal at all. But I'm just gonna show you exactly how I do it, which is in the microwave. So for both of my kids, I will take one cup of rolled oats, right? So old fashioned rolled oats. These take a little bit longer to cook. And then I'm gonna add two cups of water. Okay, so when you make oatmeal, it's basically two parts water to one part oats. Okay, give it a stir, because that will actually help it cook a little faster. And then I'm gonna pop this into my microwave for two minutes, okay? And I'm gonna talk, oops, I have my soup in there. I forgot about you. Turmeric, turmeric, um, I was gonna eat it Bok before choy. and I forgot it. Bok choy soup, okay. In you go. So we do that for two minutes. All right, is that two minutes? Yeah. Okay. Now, while that is happening, I'm popping on real quick so I can see what's happening on the Facebook page. Turn the volume down. Any of you guys in New Jersey have a big old snowstorm yesterday? It was pretty awesome. Okay, here we go. Okay, good, here we are. We've got people tuning in. Yes, we do. We have Stacy. we have Karen, Jennifer, Gail, Stephanie, Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. Allie, okay guys, so Oatmeal goes in the oats. So, now, if it was up to my kids, all they want is chocolate chips in their oatmeal. So I always have my chocolate chips ready to go. And normally when I serve it to them, I just put the chocolate chips on the side um, because they like to stir them in and mix them in. I'm telling you, when it comes to kids in the kitchen, I get a lot of questions about it. Get them involved. I mean, I know we're talking about chocolate chips here, but the more they get to do themselves, the more inclined they are to eat and try foods. I know in the summer when we have our little garden outside, my kids will taste so many more vegetables because they are excited that they planted the seeds and that they're pulling them off. My husband's nodding his head yes, right? Yeah, remember so, Jax took a bite of a hot pepper? Yes, my son ate like a really spicy Thai chili pepper. He was very ambitious. He was ambitious. You told him to eat it. <laughs> no, he tried to give it to me. I said, no, you take it. Um, and he did it. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what I'm going to be using. So I have coconut oil that we're going to stir into the oatmeal. This is a great way to add extra fats, and it gives the kids extra fuel because um, I want them to stay full and focused until lunchtime, right? Because a lot of times in school, they need all that mental energy. And you know how you feel if you're tired or if you're getting like, really hungry and there you lose all mental capacity so i find adding the coconut oil adds a lot of satanist keeps you full longer and it tastes delicious and coconut oil is actually considered the low fat fat because most fats um have nine grams of calories um nine calories per gram of fat, coconut oil has just seven. Plus it is a powerful immunity booster. It's loaded with anti-inflammatory um, characteristics. It's known to reduce and stabilize blood sugar levels. It's really a good, healthy super fat. Okay. So, I wanted to go another 30 seconds. I'll show you what I want it to look like, guys. So that was two minutes. I'm going, I'm going to go for one more minute. It's gonna depend on the oats you use. I'm using old fashioned rolled oats. These are the bigger, thicker oats, so they take a little bit longer to cook. Okay, so once they come out, I'm gonna add that coconut oil. If you have any questions about the coconut oil, let me know. Then, what you're gonna see, the very next step are the egg whites. Now, I did this on a live once. What I do, and I do this for my oatmeal too, is once it comes out, 
It's right before it's cooked all the way through. You don't want it to be super burning, boiling hot because then when you pour the egg whites in, they're gonna scramble and that sounds, I know that sounds absolutely disgusting. But if you do it the way I'm doing it, you're basically tempering your egg whites, right? So the oatmeal is gonna be pretty hot, but not all the way done and not super hot. And I'm gonna pour in some egg whites. I'm gonna stir them as I go. And what that's gonna do is not only is it gonna give the, the, um, the oats a little bit of a protein boost, but it is going to make them very creamy and it's almost like oatmeal souffle, I find. So let's get the oats. They just have like 10 seconds, so we'll Oh yeah, this is exactly where I want them. You can, I don't know if you can see the difference here. Can you see? Oops, they're not cooked yet. So what I do is I take them from here, I give them a stir. There's, see there's no real steam coming up yet and that's what we don't want. We don't want too hot. So one cup of oats, I'm gonna take about a third of a cup of egg whites and I buy my egg whites pre-separated and then I stir as I pour them in. I'm doing that, but sorry guys, I'm righty. Okay, so you stir it in and stir because again guys, this is like tempering your egg whites. You don't want them to cook when you pour them in. You want them to kind of adjust to the temperature and now this whole thing goes back into the microwave for one minute and breakfast is done. And this is a great winter cold weather breakfast, guys, because it's warm, it's comforting, it's super hearty, packed with fiber, and the way we're gonna make it, it's gonna have healthy fats and protein as well. Okay, so I got the coconut oil, that's what's gonna come next, and the toppings. Let's see what's happening in the comments, okay? My name is Gwenny, I'm seven and I'm watching with my mommy. Hi, Gwenny, thank you so much. My daughter is seven. Are you in second grade? My daughter's in second grade and she loves this breakfast, so maybe you'll like it too. Um, do you use Fatworks? Great company, you should partner with them. That's so funny, Kim. I, I, I feel like I just got an email. I feel like we're talking, I don't know. I haven't tried them yet, let's just say that. Okay, so happy that you're showing this. Thanks, Brianna. I'm actually showing you this because so many of you have asked for this recipe because I've done it on like Snapchat and on Instagram before and everybody's like, can you just give us that recipe? So that's why I'm doing it. I would not use a whole egg. I think it would end up tasting too eggy. That's my personal opinion. The egg whites really don't add any flavor to this at all. And you're gonna see. Just make the oatmeal plain and put a sunny side egg on top. Yeah, oh, there you go. My husband says, just put your egg on top. Um, I think if you added a whole egg, it would be very eggy. I don't, I personally don't think I'd like it. But hey, give it a try. Let us know how it goes, girl. Okay, now you can see what I'm talking, can you see how creamy this looks? Okay, come here. Look at this, guys. You see, I don't know if you can tell, but it's super, super creamy. And that's what I mean. It kind of makes it like a souffle to me. Okay, let's bring this over here. And I'll get the balls. Now usually what I do is I leave it right in my handy dandy mixer here. I take a big old tablespoon of coconut oil and I put that on top. This is melt, my coconut oil is melting a little. Okay, then I take a few dashes of cinnamon. Do not underestimate the power of these ingredients, guys. Cinnamon is another, it's, it's another um, really easy way to add great flavor and sweetness to your food without using sugar because it does add a sweet flavor. Um, it stabilizes blood sugar levels. It's also rich in antioxidants. It's an anti-inflammatory. It helps fight the body fight off infections. So it helps to boost immunity. It's a lot of good stuff going on there. Okay, so we have the egg whites, the cinnamon, the coconut oil, the oats. And then what I do for the little ones is I get these little bowls for them, right? I'll, I'll divide this into two, but I also want to show you what I like to put into it, but this is how they like it. So that's for them. And then I give them chocolate chips on the side. I don't give them that many. Um, that would probably be like for two of them. And then they'll sprinkle their chocolate chips on top and then they stir them in. And that is one of their favorite breakfasts. Parisa, I do not pre-melt my coconut oil. I just... You know, it always depends on the weather, but you don't need to pre-melt it because it will melt right in your oats. Now, if you are an adult and you don't want chocolate chips in your oatmeal, because I know it's not my thing, another way that I like to top these oats, hang on, make another bowl. So I would make the oatmeal for myself the very same way. Hey, Nikki, I just saw that you said hello. Danielle says, I really like your channel watching from Brazil. Hello, thank you. 
Jennifer, I really like um, Trader Joe's chocolate chips. I mean, I like a lot of different chocolate chips, but I'm a big fan of the Trader Joe's semi-sweet chocolate chips. Okay, so for myself or even my husband, what we would do, same base there, right? But then I personally, I go one of two ways. I'll either add some berries or some banana, right? So I'm gonna do berries because that's what I have today. I really like banana in the winter too because it's something delicious about that. And then I'll either stir in some almond butter or peanut butter. So either, either stir that in or I'll just add some fresh chopped nuts to the top. So I have a combination of pecans and walnuts here. Okay, so there's two variations on the very same base oatmeal. I have the ones that my kids always want and eat almost every single day. That's the chocolate chip. And then something my husband and I would do would be more inclined to do like berries and fresh nuts. Okay, so that is what I got for you guys today. This is our go-to busy morning oatmeal recipe and it's wonderful for the winters. Um, Susan, Danny, I started using egg whites in my daughter's oatmeal and she had no idea they were in there. Totally, Susan, you really, as long as you get the timing right so that they don't scramble, um, not only will they not know they're in there, it actually makes the oats taste better because it's so creamy. Okay, my friends, thank you. Jane, let's just see what Jane says. She did something similar, adding an egg to my oatmeal as it's on the stove. I never had it scramble, but definitely delicious. Oh, okay, good. Good to know. Oh, and the whole egg was not eggy, she said, guys. More custardy. Thanks for sharing that, Jane. So anybody who wants to try a whole, a whole egg, give it a try. Jane says it tastes more custardy, but not eggy. So do that, okay? Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I will put this recipe up on the website. I have an amazing, delicious, decadent chocolate recipe coming for you guys for Valentine's Day. And if you didn't check it out already, um, this past video that we put up was three uh, healthy, easy Valentine Day snacks. So check them out. What, B? What are you going to say? No, just a couple more comments you can take. Oh, there's more comments. Okay, we'll take a couple more comments. Why not? I love egg whites to my oats. It makes them creamy. Totally agree. And full. That's what I like about them. Do you worry about salmonella? No, I do not. Because these egg whites, first of all, it cooks, right? So I'm, they're not raw. I put it back in the microwave. So when it comes, it's totally cooked. We're not eating raw egg whites. Plus, these are pasteurized. I mean, I guess my short answer is no, I don't worry about salmonella. Um, okay, guys. Fatima from London. Hello, and thank you for joining. All right, guys. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful weekend, and I uh, can't wait to be back in the kitchen with you. Bye, guys. <laughs>